If you had to rate yourself on a scale from one to ten, your outfit, one being not ten being hot, how would you rate yourself? Negative one. Negative one. Well, you know, guys, we, we brought in a panel of style gurus to tell us what's hot and what's not. And you sure you want to say that? You're not nervous about what they're going to say? Be horrible. Be honest. There's a start. Wild hair color is definitely hot. And these guys wear it well. <laughs> I think they know it's Halloween and everybody else at the VMAs doesn't realize that it's Halloween. That's what I think about that right there. The bullet hole in the brain is definitely not hot. I was in a metal band and uh, opened for uh, for the guys in Mudvayne and um, before they uh, parted ways with uh, their first uh, bass player and then uh, we wrote Beldy 50 together. We were all pissed off um, at mom, dad, life in general. You feel what you feel and um, emotions are irrational, as we know. So, um, and I think music doesn't have to make sense either, and it can be irrational, and it can express a lot of these things that we feel that we don't really understand yet. You know, we were just young men and uh, boys, even. Mudvayne fans are Mudvayne fans. You know, they're ready to see it. You know, but the best thing really about this whole thing is that they put Jack Daniels and Coke in the can all together, mixed. Maybe you could sneak a couple home with you. We'll see what Customs thinks. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Customs, uh, blue and green, it doesn't usually work out very well. Do you get that all the time? Do you get the rubber glove? Young man, come here. Uh, no, not not the glove, but uh, but um, the dogs can be all over whoever, and they're like, hey, 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 let him go. Send the blue hair down. Send the green hair down. You know, I'm not the world's greatest bass player, but what I do have is my own personal story. A weird tuning that I play in. LD50 album. The album title derives from a technical term, medium lethal dose, which is used by toxicologists to refer to the dose required to kill 50% of the members of a tested population. True. Totally true. Love that. Terrence McKenna and all that kind of crazy stuff that we were into at that time. You ready? Yeah. And playback. Playback's rolling. Exit. Here you go! Oh, and that's a picture of your penis on that last one. Oh, nice. Nice. nice, dude. Nice. We'll put bugles on his face. Glue on him. Perfect. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. There's a certain amount of ambiguity that we that we try to culture with what we do artistically in the sense of never really saying too much and leaving it up to our listener to, to build their own relationship to it. I mean, we want that to happen. We want people to make what we've done creatively become their own experience and build an individual relationship to it. You don't necessarily have to understand what's going on to intellectually to enjoy what we do. And then the content is there if you want to take that route. So, I mean, it's really not, I mean, it's there if you want it. And if, if not, that's fine by us also, you know. Well, the record of the new game was written in two cities. One was in Chicago, and we couldn't get nothing done there because there was too many bars. So we couldn't get any writing done. So we had to move to the middle of nowhere in uh, Idaho. We woke up one morning, and there was like seven feet of snow all the way up. And had us buried in this little cabin me and Chad were staying in. We, we bounce ideas off each other, but when Matt's playing in 15, 16, and I'm trying to play a riff that's in 4-4, and then Ryan's playing in a completely different time signature, the way it comes together, I know it's weird, but it's just, you know, we've been doing it for a long time now, and that's just, we're, we know how to write with each other now, and it comes pretty easily for us, but some people might think it's completely flipped out. 